Korea's central bank has kept its key rate unchanged at one and a quarter percent. The decision comes as uncertainties at home and abroad, like the U.S. Fed rate hike, leaves the Bank of Korea with little room to maneuver its own monetary policy. Our Shin Se-min has the details. Korea's central bank ends the year by leaving its key rate steady at an all-time low of one and a quarter percent for December, on the heels of the U.S. Fed's rate hike. With this, the BOK has kept its rate untouched for a full half year. We're keeping a close eye on the pace of the Fed rate's increases. If advanced economies start tightening at a faster pace, it would definitely lead to instability in emerging markets. So we need to watch closely to see whether it will trigger financial instability there as well. This would be a major risk factor. The top central banker added that eyes are also on whether the incoming Trump administration will fulfill its campaign pledges, as it could influence the Fed's rate hike scenario for next year. The Fed's rate lift puts Korea's central bank in a more difficult position, as it's faced either with the option of also raising rates to reduce risks of capital outflows, or continuing with its trend of low rates to buy time for the country's skyrocketing household debt while propping up consumer spending. Market expectations on the BOK's next move are mixed, as some believe that the central bank should keep up with the Fed's rate hike pace, while others worry that a hike would only worsen the current economic conditions like the mounting household debt. Toning down concerns of a potential mass capital flight, Governor Ijeyar also said he doesn't believe the U.S. rate hike would lead to an abrupt outflow from the local market, considering the country's solid economic fundamentals. The top central banker added that looking ahead, the BOK will maintain its monetary easing measures to help prop up the economy while ensuring that the financial markets remain stable. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.